right? So why hire in the Philippines for an online business? What I do is digital marketing for high ticket clients. So I'll, I'll do run Facebook ads and eventually uh, bring those leads to a CRM software, customer relations management. And I, uh, I filter those leads from Facebook. So the ones that are really ready to book, you know, you get them on the calendar right away. The ones that are needed in a minute, uh, maybe just wanted to check out the prices. Like, we'll we'll keep them in an email campaign for, you know, three months or whatever. Um, so anyway, I'll bring the them to a calendar one way or another is kind of the idea. So anyway, that business is all online pretty much. And a lot of those skills are easily outsourceable to people in the Philippines. And so that's one of many different things that you can also outsource to the Philippines. There's also affiliate marketing, um, website design, SMMS, um, whatever you want, really. I mean, as long as it's online, you can, you can pretty much find somebody that will do it in the Philippines for way cheaper and do a really good job with it. <clears throat> Sometimes you have to search for the ones that have amazing English because a lot of them, they can speak and understand everything. They can have fluid conversations without even thinking about English, but the way they speak it over there is different. They have uh, some sentence structures are uh, more like their own native sentence structures. And some words are a little bit different uh, when they pronounce them. They're just a little bit different and they can be hard to understand sometimes when they speak, but the written, written English is usually really good. So um, anyway, if you find the right ones, you find the right talent. And I mean, in any skill pool, you should be able to find people that are, that have any skill. So, uh, and there's plenty of people that have the online skills. If you find the right ones with the right English, the right skills, it can be pretty lucrative to hire people in the Philippines. I've got employees at, uh, somewhere from like three to $5 an hour. Um, and I have them as freelance. So even though I pay them per hour, I just pay them for a block 40 hours and expect them to work around that. So it's like, maybe they'll work 35, maybe they'll work 45. Um, yeah, it's, it's just kind of up to them, but as long as they're providing great results, it doesn't, it doesn't really make much of a difference They They provide a lot more value than uh, what I have to pay them for them to be living a really nice life over there. That wage is amazing for them. Um, so anyway, that why, why hire in the Philippines It's cheaper. That's, that's the idea. It's cheaper. It's easier for a startup business like me or like maybe you watching. Uh, it's just, you can't afford somebody in the United States at $20 an hour that, you know, with the same experience of five years doing this, uh, Facebook media buying, uh, for example, like finding somebody here that's got five years experience, they might be like almost 30 bucks an hour. And that's like, no way. Like <laughs> that's like my entire budget. <laughs> I can't, I can't afford that. So, um, that, that would be why I would hire from the Philippines. So, yeah.